Well guys, I gotta say, this is not a video I ever thought I'd be making, but my opinions have been changed on Medved since this update, and it's kinda like I predicted it would happen. Once the rework happened here on Medved, things got way better than they used to be, and now this is probably going to be a much higher ranking map for me. And we're gonna be taking a look at one of the most drastic changes today, and that is this insane must deer location throughout this entire river. Now, we're currently at a spot where there's not as many of them because I just changed the time, but earlier on livestream today, we ended up having probably 70 to 80 must deer spotted throughout this little river section, and you guys will immediately notice that there is a ridiculous amount of drink zones, and some of them we've deleted, but it's just an absurd amount of drink zones for such a condensed area, and we're gonna go over all of it today. I definitely think this is now the best thing to hunt on Medved. Must deer have officially become the most plentiful and easy thing to hunt on the entire map. The more we walk up this river, the more of these must deer we will be seeing, and it's already starting to show quite a few of them. I also just spooked one off as well. Most of these are female, so we will not be hunting any of these, but we're gonna continue running up this river and I'm going to show you guys every time that we end up finding some musk deer. And we had just spotted these musk deer right here. And there's already some more of them ahead. And it just continues on like this throughout this entire stretch of the river. It truly is just such a drastic change that I never would have expected with Medved Taiga. I was hoping they would make it better with this update, but I didn't think it would be this much better. And like I was saying at the beginning of this video, it has truly made musk deer hunting on Medved an enjoyable thing. And we've got even more of them popping into render right now. It's just absolutely ridiculous to see this many of them, and such a breath of fresh air. Medved used to be my least favorite map in the entire game, and well, because of the changes they've made, it is now moving its way up. So let's get a shot into a few of these must deer. We're going to kind of blast them as we go up the river. There is a couple of males here, so we will attempt to get both of them down. Gotta see which one of these is in front, and well, this is gonna be a difficult shot, but we will just have to take down both of them, I think. And honestly, it just continues on being even more crazy than before. Once again, more musk deer, and we haven't even got up to claim those other ones. By the time that we have moved, you know, merely 600 meters, we have already found ourselves probably 25 or 30 musk deer. It is absolutely insane, the difference between the old Medved and the new Medved. I hope you guys are just as excited about this as I am because I never expected Medved to actually be a fun map to play. Like I said, I've never enjoyed this map. I always thought that there was a extreme lack of species variety and way too much brush, but now a lot of the species drink out in the open, which has already made this a much more enjoyable map than before. And because of that, you guys will see a lot more Medved content on the channel. We'll be doing quite a bit of hunts here on Medved in the next uh, couple weeks, and we will try to get some of the trophies that we have never been able to find, with Musk Deer Diamond being one of them. And then obviously we need to go for some rares as well. So I think that even from just showing this little stretch right here, you guys probably understand how much of a massive change this is. And I think because of that, we are actually going to jump into a different species now because it's not only musk deer that have gotten a massive increase in the visibility of their drink zones and condensed in a more tight area to where you can find them easier, but that has also happened with reindeer and moose. Not only is this river great for musk deer, but the exact same route can net you some pretty massive moose as well, and this guy is definitely one of them. At a max estimate of 296, we're gonna take this guy down, but I only have the 6.5 on me, so this is uh, not gonna be a quick kill, that's for sure. And one more into that guy will hopefully bring him down just a little bit quicker. And before we even get up to claim that moose, we already see a ton more of them. This is why I've been saying that Medved might become a top map for me, or at the very minimum, move itself out of the bottom three. And the more I play this map as of the last couple days, the more I'm enjoying it. And I really am starting to think that this will be one of my favorite maps to come back and revisit, especially if they add a couple new species to it at some point. 
This has been truly an enjoyable couple days of hunting here. And we've got some pretty cool trophies doing it as well. Now, we're going to continue up the river and, and look at a few more of the moose spots. But, let's go ahead and take a look at the map first. So, we've barely even moved away from the tent as you guys can see. And this is where all the moose have been. So, it's definitely one of those spots that is just so populated with animals that you can have a tent there at the very end and just run up the river for musk deer and moose and have incredible luck with finding tons of them. This is truly the definition of a hot spot. I'm going to assume that this moose is at the lower half of his estimate because it definitely did not look like it was going to be anything too massive and yeah, it definitely is 249 was towards the low end of the estimate, but it's still a very solid moose. Now let's continue on with the insane moose locations down here. And in the exact same location that we saw a bunch of musk deer, uh, once again, a large group of moose. It never fails. Like, this run is absolutely insane. There is constant action. And it's definitely one of my favorite places to hunt now in all of Call of the Wild. And I got a feeling that it's going to be a lot of your guys' favorite as well. Because this is just amazing. Constant action. Very many chances of getting good trophies in multiplayer. Like, this is going to be a great spot to hunt. But thankfully, they didn't change everything that was good on the map. They kept a lot of the locations that were decent before, because we still have a bunch of moose and musk deer at everybody's favorite lake for them, which is uh, this one right here, above Mamantavoya, or Mamantavaya, Mamantavaya Tundra. It's a pretty good location still. It's good to see that not everything has changed. At least they kept some of the locations that were relatively good before. They seem to still have some decent populations of musk deer and moose. Though, I have yet to check this location for stuff like the reindeer. But we will definitely do that very shortly. Another location that is still very good for moose is this large lake right here at Bolshoi Lake Taiga. This is still a phenomenal spot for moose. There are moose herds pretty much around the entire thing as you scan across it. You will see plenty of moose still. And honestly, I think Medved might be on par with Revon Tuli when it comes to how good the moose hunting is, which is nice to see. I was really curious how they were going to keep some of the older maps relevant for moose with Revon Tuli Coast just being such a fantastic map for them, but it seems like they did take that into account. And maps like Medved are still going to be very solid for moose as well, and definitely better than they were before. And in case I didn't mention it at the beginning of this video, this isn't going to be a full guide for the entire map and everything that's on it, but it is going to be a quick little guide to show you a few of the best locations for the musk deer, moose, and reindeer, because those are the species that I have got a little bit of knowledge about now. So, we are going to go ahead and take a look at the reindeer now, because they also got some massive, massive changes and have some pretty insane zones now. Uh, well, the first thing that I've noticed is that that is a level 5. <laughs> that is a level 5. That is a guaranteed troll. Well, that's quite sad. But, anyway, we will take that guy out shortly. But, what we're really here for is to show you guys that this is still an insane lake for reindeer. And, in fact, it might be even better than it was before. Now, we do have some in the brush over here. So, we've got reindeer there. We've got a reindeer right there. That's another 5. That, that is another... Well, I guess we're taking out something that actually does have a chance at diamond. Well then, typical reindeer, though most likely they'll both troll. But as you see, this lake is completely filled with them. There is reindeer literally at every single inch of this lake. Which is definitely more than it used to be. This was always a good lake for them, but once again, as with the musk deer and the moose, it was never this good. This is like a whole nother level of insanity when it comes to just the sheer number of reindeer in a small area. We got another large herd out there in the middle of the lake and we can't even see half of the lake from here and we've already seen more reindeer than I was ever able to find in like three or four lakes previously. This is truly just an incredible change and well, let's take down that diamond potential right there. Provided everything goes well. I think this guy has a chance of making it. It looks like that's one of the racks that can make diamond. You know, it really takes me by surprise when I go to record a guide or a video with some tips in it and we actually end up spotting something good. 
it's not too often that happens where we're recording a guide video and we actually get something good while doing it, but well, this is one of those situations. Let's hope that this guy makes it. He definitely could. And I also did want to mention that the brand new time for reindeer is 4 to 8.30. And then for the musk deer, it is 8.30 to 12.30. And for moose, it is 12.30 to, I believe, 15.30 if I'm not mistaken. So they've all had a little bit of a time change and they go from one to the other, which is really good. I love it when Call of the Wild does this where all the drink times kind of lead into each other. It makes it so there's always some action around the lakes and that's what a lot of people love in this game. All right, well, let's get this guy down. Let's just quickly drop a shot right in there. Should be a lung shot and I was aiming for the heart, but we didn't quite get it. But that is a giant reindeer and we still have another level five to take down, albeit it is a guaranteed troll, but we definitely should still take it down. And speaking of him, there he is. Let's just drop a shot into him as well. Gonna go down pretty slow as the 6.5 is kind of weak, but I still love this gun. And there is the first of two level five reindeer. I believe this is the big one. Yeah, this is the one that actually has a chance at making diamonds. So hopefully it will. It's a diamond at 442.80. That is amazing. We actually managed to bag something pretty good. Definitely what we were looking to do. And that is an awesome thing to see. It's very rare that I get a diamond reindeer. A lot of them troll, so anytime I can get one is a good day. That is absolutely amazing. Well, there is our guaranteed troll, though not as exciting as that diamond we just picked up. It is still a max level animal, scoring 391. You know, it's kind of ridiculous that a level 5 reindeer can score so far below diamond. But I guess it is what it is. It kind of makes it more exciting when you do find a diamond, I guess. It's just unfortunate that you can uh, see a guaranteed troll that's that far below diamond. That's kind of crazy. But now that we have claimed both of those level 5s, it's time that we continue our way down to the west side of the lake. That is the one side that we have not looked at yet and... Well, you guys will quickly realize that it is just as good as the other side as we immediately see a large herd of reindeer over here. It's uh, pretty crazy that it completely circles the entire lake with reindeer zones now. Really nice change and I'm glad that they have kind of started to realize that people want easy access to drink zones and a lot of the older maps have really difficult to see drinking zones, especially Hirschfeld and, and Medved, but with this update, Medved officially has a lot of crazy zones that are out in the open. And I'm pretty curious to see if Hirschfelden's the same. You guys let me know down in the comments if you want me to take a look at Hirschfelden. And if I see enough of you wanting me to do it, then I definitely will. And we will kind of go over it and see what has changed. But, I mean, do I really need to even say any more? This is just insane. There is so many reindeer. And because I think we've pretty much shown the only zones that you would ever really need to do a grind on this map now, let's go ahead and show a trophy that we got on livestream recently where we found our first ever highballed musk deer. Never before have I seen a rare or diamond musk deer, so this was a first for me and it's a beautiful trophy. So let's get right into it. Are, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> No way. No way. There's no way. <laughs> okay. This, that's got to be him. <laughs> this has been an insane hunt already. We, we just got on Medved. This is like the third musk deer track I've picked up and it's a piebald. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know, right, Kyla? <laughs> you were just talking about how you had to work for your piebald female. And now, I, I literally third track, there's a piebald male. Oh my gosh. Where is he? Where is this little dude? I, I gotta, I want him down so bad now. I want to see this thing. I've never seen a rare musk deer in game. You run yours down? I could do that, I guess. They are kind of slow. And the wind is bad. We could just push it out. Hey, little guy, where are you? I hear it. Um. 
Hey, how's it going? <laughs> well then, that was interesting. We got to say hi to a piebald musk deer. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? What? What just happened? What did I just witness? This guy, um... I mean, he's a small one. I'm gonna assume that he's just young and didn't know what a hunter is and... He was curious. He was like, what's this? My question is, how are we not seeing him here? How have we not spotted him? This should be a really open area that we can easily... Oh, there he is. You know, right as I said it, of course that's when we would see him. Now, just stop fleeing. I could go for the back of the neck shot, but I don't trust it at all. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And down he goes. Just like that. Piebald musk deer. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. Let's see. What will this guy score? Curious. Very curious. One, two, three. That's amazing. That is amazing. He scores one, two, three. My first ever piebald musk deer. First good must deer ever, actually. Never had good luck with these things. Beautiful. Love to see it, guys. Love to see it. Why do I not use the Argus scope? Eh, just personal preference. Not a big fan of the uh, low field of view of it. That is awesome. That is awesome. Look at those little teeth. Look at those little vampire fangs. Adorable. <laughs> Adorable.